This is the construction of the Mini Condor Boost Glider from Apogee Components. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee. Um, we're in the middle of the construction of the pop pod that is used to carry the glider up into the sky. Um, and the last time we had glued up the shock cord mount um, and now we're going to glue it inside the tube. Now when it's glued inside of the tube it has to be far enough inside that the shoulder of the nose cone doesn't interfere with it. So we need, I like to put it at least an inch back, further back if possible, um, to install it. Take some wood glue and smear some on there. And you've got to be very careful, just kind of keep it on the tip of your finger and then slide it into the tube like that and then flip it over. And then, I can't see inside there, you want to take a wood dowel and press it up against the side of the wall on the inside of the tube. And you can feel it on the inside. Make sure it's pressed really good and hard. Okay, and then we're going to let that dry. But in the meantime, we can attach the other end to the nose cone and simply just tie it on. I like to use a slip, slip knot myself, but uh, you can use whatever knot you want. Um, you can always put glue on the knot to make sure that it doesn't come undone. Okay, like that. Like I said, you can put glue on this knot and make sure it doesn't come undone. Come on, glue. Just work it into the Kevlar like that. Okay, when that dries, that knot's going to stay permanent, which is what we want. Um, next, we're going to attach the streamer, and it's wound up with a little rubber band. Um, we only need about half of this streamer um, because the rocket's not going to go very high and it's pretty light. So I'll just take it and fold it in half find the middle and then you can either take a pair of scissors or your hobby knife and then just slice it there. And you can save the other half. Um, you might need it later. And over here I got some packing tape. Now this is the kind you use on cardboard boxes when you're packaging them up, sending them through the mail. Um, so we're going to take a piece of tape. I'm going to take the end of the streamer and just lay it right in the middle like that. And then anything that hangs over the edge, just take and cut off. Just like that. And you only need about a half of an inch, and I've got about an inch hanging over here, so I'll just cut off a little bit. Okay, and then take the shock cord and close to the nose cone, it's fairly close, just lay it right on the edge like, like that. And then take the tape and then just fold it over the top like that. Press it down and then try to push the uh, shock cord right there into the very corner edge, just like that. And then our shock cord is now attached. And then you can roll it up. And once this glue is dry, you can put everything together. Come on. It's always hard to get it started when you're rolling it. Okay, and that will 
will slide inside along with all the rest of the shock cord. So right now I'm waiting for the glue to dry in there so I don't want to push it in too hard. Um, so that completes the construction of the uh, pop pod. And then in the future, I'll show you how to prep it and get it ready for launch. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Over here to the side, we have some videos I'm sure you're going to love. Um, down here is the, is the subscribe and the like button. Go ahead and hit those. And then also send us a comment on what you think of this video. Um, so uh, again, my name is Tim. Uh, may the winds be light. May the skies be blue. And may all your rockets fly straight and true.